So how do you uh, measure volatility when it comes to forex markets? How do you, you know how do you look at uh, movements there because uh, you know VIX is not a helpful indicator necessarily for forex markets. So how do you how do you track uh, volatility when it comes to currencies? So, um, for one, you can use a Bollinger Bands. I mean, I've seen them sometimes where they go complete 90 degrees, and it's like okay, the market's here. Right. But also the average move, uh, like in a, my five-minute chart or my 10-minute or my 30-minute chart. Looking at those, I mean, if if I'm looking at my charts, this is weird, but if I see like five pip increments on the side, there's nothing going on. Right. But for the pound lately, it's been 50 pip increments. So in a grid, if I'm looking at it, it's like, okay, perfect, here you go. Right. Um, right. Depends on the time of the news, too. Like if something big is coming out, it's, it's going to ramp up before that or ramp down in bad news. Or things yeah, what, do you bad. Use, what do you use to track some of that uh, you know, uh, external European and Asian market news? What do you use to... You know, for our viewers who aren't familiar with those markets, what kind of tools do you use to, you know, uh, facilitate and, and guide, you know, give yourself some guideposts? Uh, Reuters. I use Reuters right now. Um, I had Bloomberg. I mean, it, it's just as good to be honest with you with, with stock twits. Yeah. Some of these guys are. Some of these guys over in Europe, they're just they're right on top of it. They'll tell me, you know, what's coming on, you know, what's going to happen, what the expectations are. But usually it's Reuters. I'm looking at Dow Jones right now. Right. You know, I might even go back to Bloomberg, to be honest with is, you. Is, is news more important, less important, equally important as it is in stocks? Uh, it's probably just as equally important. Okay. Um, only because, like today, I don't know if you saw some of my tweets. I'm like, all right, I think the stock markets, there's going to be, there's no catalyst today. So the market was going to be flat, but I thought the equities, the indices were going to drop. So I bought the dollar. Right. Um but the, the news is very important because. So you, so you will trade some of the uh, uh, future index futures also when you're when you're mixing in with uh, the forex. Yes, I'll do uh, from for personally, not for my clients. Okay. Uh, yeah. Personally, where I'll, um, you know, the E mini S and P, which I see a huge on uh, the E mini matchup. Right. Um, even the mini Dow, things like that. Uh, I'll even trade some crude oil, and that gas. But that's really the extent of my futures right now. Yeah. And only because, you know, if oil's moving somewhere, well, so is the dollar Canadian, the Kiwi dollar, and the Aussie dollar. So, really, I can place two or three trades at once and set my stops.